Hello and welcome to another edition of this week's Lab Rats. So this week we're continuing on with the concepts that we learned last week, which is all about osmosis. So osmosis is the traveling of water from an area of high concentration to an area of low concentration. And what makes a solution, which is like a water in this instance, um, concentrated is how much dissolved stuff there is inside of it. So we're using salt. So if you put a bunch of salt inside water, that's going to have a high concentration of salt. If you don't have a bunch of water, a bunch of salt in your water, it's going to have a low concentration. So we caught up a bunch of potatoes. We had some regular water or some distilled water if you had it on hand. This is our regular water here. And we had a bunch of salt water. This is our salt water here. And what we noticed is that when we put the potatoes in the salt water, they became um, really flimsy, right? They were almost like a plastic, as opposed to the potatoes that we put in the regular water that were still really crisp. And that's because inside of a cell, so we are all made of cells, cells have a bunch of dissolved, you know, material inside of them, salts and other things like that. So when you have distilled water, there's less, um, there's less of a concentration of salt in the water, so the water rushes into the cells. The opposite of tr is true when you put it in a bunch of salt water. So there's less salt in the cells than there are in the water, so the water rushes out into the salty water and it makes the cells basically all flimsy. There's no water inside of them. So this week we're going to look at that on the molecular level. I asked you to chop up some onions. So here I have some chopped up onion and you'll see that, you know, we have some little pieces of onion here. What you're going to do is you're just going to take those onions and you're going to plop them, plop them inside of that salt. Okay. You can also add a little bit of food coloring if you want because it'll help dye the cells and you might be able to see them better. I haven't done that here, but I have done the experiment with dye and it works really well. So if you want to add a little bit of food coloring to your water, go ahead and do that. So I have some, some you know, regular water here with nothing in it. It's distilled water, so we're going to put our onion pieces in that. I want you guys to leave them like this for several hours, okay? So several hours goes by. And then what you're going to do is the exact same prep that we did when we first learned how to use a microscope. We're going to use um, the onion skin slide prep. So we have a slide here. We're just going to take our little slices of onion and we're just going to remove that epidermal skin. So it's, it really is. It's like skin that we have. So it's, we're going to take it from the underside and we're just going to peel it off, which is sometimes a little hard to do. So there you go. We have our peeled onion skin, okay? You're gonna take it and you're just gonna put it on your slide and then you can take um, your pipette, so this is a pipette, and you can just take a little bit of that salt water and put a drop on your slide. And then you can add a cover slip if you want. I'm not gonna bother doing that, but you should always do that, even though I'm not going to, because uh, what can happen is that water can leak onto your microscope and it can cause it to rust and corrode. So again, we're gonna just turn on our microscope like this and we're gonna set this slide on our stage because that's what it's called, it's called a stage, just like that. And then we're gonna start with the lowest power, which is this one right here, and we're gonna start looking through it and seeing what we see. And essentially what you see is on the salt prep slide is you can see a nice big cell. So remember that plant cells have a cell wall. So you can see the cell wall, they don't move, they're rigid, they're almost like bricks, they don't move. And then inside you're gonna see this tiny little shriveled up uh, kind of looks like a balloon. That's that's the actual cell with the plasma membrane. So the membrane of the cell. What's happened is it's all the water's left it. So it basically collapses into this like deflated balloon looking thing. If we do the same prep with the onions that are put in the water, the opposite is true. There's a whole bunch of water inside those cells. They're nice and big and you can't see that they're all like these shriveled little bits. That's because the water rushes into the cells and it makes it, it expands them. It makes them really big. It's like blowing air into a balloon. It's the same sort of thing. So if you actually put human cells inside dissolved, just dissolved or pardon me, inside, um, inside water that's been distilled, they can actually explode because we don't have a cell wall. So we, there's nothing containing our cells, whereas plants actually have a cell wall, so the cells don't actually explode. So uh, maybe that's, a that's something that we can actually practice a little bit later on in this lab, but do that, have a look. And let me know what you see. I, I took some actual photographs in your little lab kits that I sent home with you and I took actual photographs because you can just take your, your, your phone and you can actually set it up and take photos through, 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 through the microscope and you can actually photograph the different things that you're looking at. So those photos that I have actually show you what you'll see. So if you want to do that, you can send them to me, send me your pictures or leave comments in the video below and I'll see you guys next week.